He's got such a small army that he's gonna engage with. Another fireball landing on all these soldiers. More mages coming in with nearly full energy from the back here. These soldiers are practically all dead. More catapult shots land, and Venny's just traded magnificently there. He's practically got a. No. No. Um. Managed to trade, and he's got practically a full army there. TZK is managing to reinforce. Um. Uh, so he has managed to get a practically full army up again to face off against his opponent. Uh, we're looking at pretty much even army counts, but the catapults on Benny's side um, is an advantage. But it's going to be quite a difficult position here. As I said um, at the beginning of this match, these narrow chokes is going to make it really difficult for soldiers to properly engage. The soldier mage, as much as the chokes benefit the mages, the chokes are going to really hurt the soldiers. The soldiers attempt to move in, catapult shots land. Catapults do get stuck in this corner here. Um, and heal spells land on the soldiers. Tizuki moves in, trying to make it work. Um, but with the amount of riflemen and mages here, they're going to do a lot of damage. More catapult shots land. Then these retreating catapults are going to get stuck here, and they are both going to fall. Which is a nice uh, bonus for TZK. But um, his army is still smaller. I'm looking at plus five, plus one versus plus five armor. So that's going to give Benny a small lead in these battles, which is what you're seeing as he sort of trades slightly more efficiently. Ooh, the lag there. You're seeing Venny actually manage to sneak up a tower here in the background. Um, it's going to be a, such a pain uh, for positioning for TZK if he can't deal with it. TZK does have a significant um, amount of production coming in behind it, but he's just got to win a battle. He's not uh, really managed to do that in quite a long time. Right from getting on top of the mages, high energy mage goes down, the rest of the mages are in trouble. So it does come around the back, but it's not going to be enough. That's going to get focused down really quickly. Um. Oh. Catapult shot lands on the mage again. Manchester step for one third on the fireball, but it only lands on about three riflemen. This tower does get cancelled again in the background here with the catapult up now for TDK. But you can see again, just smaller armor, catapult shots land. And as much as he's got heal spells, this battle just isn't going that well for TZK. And this could be the turning point where TZK does lose this game. Fireball does whiff on Benny's side. And this tower is going to be forced to cancel. And uh, we see Benny going for another base in the top right. And TZK has actually uh, set up a fifth base. Uh, that we didn't notice earlier, um, down the bottom left. But you can see the positioning of Benny here and all these high energy mages is just going to force his opponent um, further back into these choke points where he doesn't really want to be. He wants to try and get us around. Two mages step forward, they're going to get picked Oh, no, not quite picked off. Target's cancelled again there for Venny. Uh, what Venny will be doing is uh, using this for full vision of his opponent's army, uh, just to see what's going on. Then he's going to be forced back a short way here. Um, what he really needs is to uh, is to actually take an advantage in the game. He's managed to trade fairly well, um, but they're practically even on upgrades now. 
and uh, he's not really managed to deny any bases as of yet. And he's hurting your mage, he's going to get put up and left on side. Fireball does hit a few of these riflemen. The turn fireball's going off here. And it looks like Venny is actually going to pull workers. Oh no, he's just uh, transferring and look like he's pulling in for a second. Um, oh, massive fireball lands in amongst all the riflemen there, which is really not what we want. See the kids soldiers come around the left hand side trying to get some damage done on these workers. Kind of fortunate to land, but TTK man sort of fight on two fronts here. And he's going to manage to do some worker damage, which will be a pain. Um, he's going to actually put him in the lead for workers, which will give him a significantly better income, which means he can trade a lot better uh, with his opponent here. It's easy to come, to come around the right hand side. This is sort of six high new mages though, so if they get close, that's going to be brutal. The first set of spells come down, turn fireballs from the CZK, but they've not landed amazingly. Fireballs land in amongst the CZK's mages. And CZK is really struggling to take this fight. He has managed to do some damage, but it is very close still. Tizuki um, is actually taking another base uh, over on the left hand side here. He isn't managing to quite spend all his money though, um, which is going to be to his detriment. He needs to make sure he keeps spending all of that to keep up with his opponent. And he's actually coming around the left hand side to harass these houses and open up more um, attack opportunities. His opponent will push him away though, he has lost a significant amount of soldiers trying to burst this down. Uh, and then he's coming around the right hand side and he's going to try and again force the issue. There's some more fireballs, they don't hit much. Um, these mates is out of position here though, the soldier on top of him, TVK not reacting very well. CZK really needs to engage properly against his army um, because they're just trading off little pieces at the moment. Huge fireball lands in amongst all the riflemen. Yeah, that's brutal. Very well engaged there for CZK. He's managing to push his opponent back again. Do the key trying to harass his opponent here on the left hand side again. And force the uh, units to come to where he wants them. Just trying to slowly deny this base and continue to take a bit of an advantage.
So we can try to split a bit to engage against this army, but he's really not got a huge amount left. Um, most of his really, most of his soldiers actually are up here trying to damage, and they're not going to get through those houses very soon. So in fact, his main army in the middle is significantly weaker, and he's going to take a lot of damage when he's able to get too close. see by the um, arm supplies in the top left hand corner. The battle is still immensely close between these two players. How much the 20 minute mark for this game. Then you shouldn't take another base on the uh, right hand side here. So I just did manage to break the house on the left which is going to cause Benny to have to run back again. Does manage to pick off another uh, high energy mage, which is really important here. Try and sort of harass and just do a little bit of damage. And while that's going on, the army's on the left hand side. See the kid that's going to swing around uh, to the right and try and deny this next base of Benny. And slowly start to cement. Uh, is the. There are some high energy mages coming in on the left hand side here, so they're going to be able to throw down some decent firewalls, and that's going to hurt. Benny's army is kind of split in two, which is really what, not what you want, so these mages are going to back up for now. This base does get shut down, Benny does manage to cancel it, but that was kind of the base that Venny really needed to want to keep in this base because in this uh, game because TSK has just got so much more income now it's going to be really difficult to uh, fight him off properly. And you can see in the top left TSK with a massive production behind this. This could be it, this could be the final engagement. Fireballs start to land in amongst the units. Catapult goes to your down, soldiers on top of the right one on the right hand side. Mages come down to the centre here. TZK's mages do take a bunch of damage. More fireballs going, uh, landing on low energy mages as opposed to high energy ones though. TZK comes in from the lower side just trying to get some more damage. The catapults on the, uh, down on the right hand side here that aren't doing engaged fully in the battle. Again, this is going to be a very close hold, but I think most importantly that base went down, which just is going to put TZK quite firmly in the lead, and these uh, third bases are going to run out pretty soon, uh, which is going to make life even harder for Venny. He's going to be dropped down to about two bases worth of mining. You can see TZK with his massive production, he's actually going to be able to uh, come up and pressure his top base again. He's still got a bit of energy on his mages, so these riflemen are going to be uh, hard pressed to do much. Soldier run by again down onto this lower base, he's going to try and do some more damage. Worker's being pulled on this top base. Fireball lands on the worker, so they're going to die while Benny's busy trying to defend this base down here. And it looks like TZK is going to be able to take that other base and take Venny down to one mining base. This looks like it could be it here. Venny desperately trying to uh, heal up this town and deal with the soldier uh, attacking his fourth base. But in the meantime, he really needs an answer to this pressure on the top right hand side. Barbal goes in, lands, kills a few units. His units are a bit bunched here from TZK, which isn't great. The soldier is still present here on this uh, fourth base. So we're just starting to get on top of units. The choke is going to help Venny here. But uh, as you can see, this is just a slow dismemberment. So this game making a small mistake with not 
for the uh, king on top of the macro. He's got so much gold floating, he really needs to. 